Hello MMA fans, this is MMA Daily with your daily news and updates. Before we kick off today's news, make sure to tap that like button and hit subscribe. Now let's dive into the latest MMA updates. Starting off, MMA community reacts to Francis Ngannou versus Anthony Joshua fight. Moving on, Alexa Grasso and Valentina Shevchenko to coach next Ultimate Fighter season. Next, UFC 299 weigh-in results. Sean O'Malley, Cheeto Vera on point for main event rematch. Lastly, Alexander Volkanovsky predicts Sean O'Malley versus Marlon Vera at UFC 299. Former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou squares off with Anthony Joshua in the headliner of today's boxing event in Saudi Arabia. Round one begins and Anthony Joshua gets off to a quick start, dropping Francis Ngannou with a left jab. Ngannou recovered and was able to make it out of the opening frame. Round two begins and Anthony Joshua finds a home for a big right hand and Francis Ngannou goes down and is out cold. Official result, Anthony Joshua defeated Francis Ngannou via KO in round two. After the fight, many personalities from the MMA world commented on the bout and gave their opinions on X. Here's what they wrote. Man, hell of a performance, fair play, levels for sure. I want Anthony Joshua next. Ngannou doesn't know what planet he is on right now. Those are three of some of the hardest right hands I've seen land in combat sports, and they all landed in one fight against Ngannou. My goodness, Anthony Joshua made it look easy tonight. Good to see Francis back on his feet after that. The Drake curse continues. I'd take getting cod like that for $20 million, no doubt. What Ngannou did against Fury was not supposed to happen, and that's what made it special. I'm surprised Joshua got it done in two, and it's surreal seeing Francis folded like that, but this is hardly a surprising result, not with how AJ has looked lately. Francis Ngannou didn't know what hit him. The Ultimate Fighter is back again. As announced Friday by UFC CEO Dana White, The Ultimate Fighter 32 will feature UFC women's flyweight champion Alexa Grasso and former champion Valentina Shevchenko with a premiere date scheduled for June 4 on ESPN. The first meeting in March 2023 saw Grasso pull off a major betting upset over then-champion Shevchenko. The rematch took place at the promotion's inaugural Noche UFC event in September and ended in a majority draw. The Ultimate Fighter nears its 20-year anniversary since its initial airing in 2004. The most recent season ran in 2023 and was coached by Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler. The official UFC 299 weigh-ins took place Friday at the host hotel and all 28 fighters, plus one backup hit the scales ahead of Saturday's event at Kaseya Center. Among those who weighed in were UFC bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley, who faces Marlon Vera in a rematch years in the making. 135, the official weight for the champ, Sugar Sean O'Malley. 135. 135, the official weight for the Marlon Chico Vera. Top bantamweight contender Marab Davalashvili weighed in between the two main eventers as the official backup fighter and will serve as a replacement if either O'Malley or Vera cannot compete. 135. 135, the official weight for Rob Dwalishwili. Come on, thank you, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dustin Poirier and Benoit Saint-Denis made weight early and with seemingly relative ease. 156. 156, the official weight for Make Dustin Poirier. One fifty-five. One fifty-five. The official weight for Benoit Saint-Denis. Ah! Alexander Volkanovsky has given his prediction for tomorrow night's clash between Sean O'Malley and Marlon Vera. On Saturday night, Sean O'Malley will defend his UFC bantamweight championship against Marlon Vera. It'll take place in the main event in Miami, with O'Malley attempting to cement his position as one of the biggest stars in mixed martial arts. As you can imagine, there's a lot of intrigue surrounding this contest. In a recent video, former featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovsky weighed in on who he thinks will get the win. Here is what he said. I'm gonna have to lean towards Sean O'Malley. I think 
his striking is going to be too much. I know Cheeto is going to want to keep it standing. I think Cheeto has to keep it standing. I think Sean O'Malley is even dangerous on the ground. I think he's going to be hard to take down. I think Sean can give him problems even there. He can throw some nice submissions off his back and he's pretty creative there. I think it's gonna be a stand-up fight, which is exciting. You know, Cheeto is gonna bring it. I just think the movement and that's gonna be too much. I think knowing how Sean O'Malley is gonna look for the finish, he's creative and he's got a good eye. I think it's gonna be a finish for Sean O'Malley. It could be a submission, but I think it's gonna be a TKO because even if he hurts him and takes him to the ground, I can't see him looking for a submission. UFC bantamweight Song Yadong plans on leapfrogging Marab Dvalishvili in the title conversation by defeating Petr Jan. Across his last six fights, Song has picked up five wins. Following his loss to Corey Sandhagen, the youngster bounced back with wins over Ricky Simon and Chris Gutierrez. This weekend, he'll have the chance to pick up the biggest win of his career thus far when he collides with Petr Jan. While the winner isn't expected to get a title shot, it'll certainly get them a whole lot closer in the conversation. Of course, right now, Marab Dvalishvili is the one leading the charge in the call for a championship opportunity. In a recent interview, Song explained why he thinks he has a great chance to leapfrog him tomorrow night. Here is what he said. I like Sean. I'm rooting for Sean. He's going to win the fight. He definitely has good striking, better striking than Cheeto, but Cheeto definitely has good defense. Now, it seems like everybody wants Marab next to challenge, but if I knock Peter out, I'm the next. Before I fought Chris, I knew after the win, I will choose to face Peter for sure, because in the top 10, both of us needed to fight. Joe Rogan is set to return to the commentary booth for UFC 299 in Miami. Headlining the event will be the bantamweight rematch between current champion Sean O'Malley and arch rival Marlon Vera. The broadcast team for the highly anticipated UFC 299 has been released and will include John Anik leading the cage side charge alongside color commentary legend Joe Rogan, who's getting his first call of 2024, and former UFC 2 division champion Daniel Cormier. Retired featherweight fighter Dean Thomas will occasionally join the booth as the coach analyst throughout the broadcast. The legendary Bruce Buffer will handle fighter walk Walkouts and UFC reporter Megan Olivia will cover the pre- and post-fight interviews backstage and report on real-time updates of the event. The now-retired UFC middleweight Chael Sonnen alongside light heavyweight contender Anthony Smith will serve as desk analysts for the post-fight show. UFC bantamweight Corey Sandhagen has revealed that he's open to a showdown with Umar Nurmagomedov. Last summer, Corey Sandhagen and Umar Nurmagomedov were set to meet in the octagon. However, due to injury, Umar was forced to withdraw with Rob Font taking his place. Corey was able to extend his win streak to three, whereas Umar returned this past weekend. He was able to defeat his opponent, stretching his unbeaten record to 17-0 in the process. For a while now, fans have been wondering whether or not the promotion would ever rebook the bout between these two. It's been discussed at length, with Umar recently calling Corey out for a collision during International Fight Week. Now Sandhagen has issued a response to the challenge. Here's what he said when talking to the media. I have no problem fighting Umar, especially if it's for a number one contender spot. If they're that high on him, then yeah, yeah, let's go at it. Decide who should be fighting for the belt next, and let's solidify this thing for me so that there's no more question about whether it should be me or someone else. If I win the next one against Umar, there's absolutely no argument that I shouldn't be fighting for the belt next. Thank you for tuning in to MMA Daily. We hope you enjoyed today's coverage of the world of mixed martial arts. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications for our latest videos. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and let us know what you'd like to hear about in our upcoming videos. See you tomorrow with more MMA news. Until then, stay safe and keep following MMA Daily for your daily dose of fighting excitement.